guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with my April favorites for 2017. I actually have, like, not that many favorites, I don't think, this month, but I feel like once I start talking, it's gonna seem like a lot. Most of it is music, so, whatever. So, without further ado, let us get started. My first favorite of this month is that my third year of university is finally over. Praise Jesus, hallelujah, I freaking hate university. I'm sorry, but it is just not for me. And so I am so happy that it's finally over. I finished my last exam on the 28th. Honestly, my exams did not go very well. <laughs> I, I did not do well, I don't think. So, you know, now that it's over, we can just pretend it never happened and hope that I actually passed all my classes. Moving on! Sorry, Mom. My second favorite is food. Because, you know, we can never not talk about food when it comes to favorites because your girl likes to eat. But my second favorite of this month is... Mild beef pad thai from Thai Express. If you have not had Thai Express, I don't know if they have it in the States, I'm assuming you do, but it is the best thing in the entire world. It's basically like noodles and beef thrown together in this sauce that is delicious and it's so filling and it's just so good. It looks like this. I'm sure you guys have it, but like I'm obsessed with it. I had it for the first time this month and I cannot get enough of it. My third favorite thing, Starbucks coffee. Thank you for getting me through exam season. Like, if it was not for venti iced coffees, I would probably be asleep and had not studied whatsoever. But thanks to you, Starbucks, you got me through. Also, has anybody tried the unicorn frappuccino? Because me and my friend tried to go get it, and we couldn't because it was sold out, and it was the second day it was available. So, like, y'all keeners who went on the first day, you suck, because I didn't get to try it. Even though, like, I honestly don't know if I want to even try it, because it's, like, 76 grams of sugar or something like that, which is insane. Who needs that much sugar? Who needs that much? Like, I mean, I would drink it, but, like, that's a lot of sugar, people. My fourth favorite is this baseball hat. I have an obsession with baseball hats ever since my mom got me my U of T one that I talked about in my March favorite. I just got this one from Garage a couple days ago because you can only wear navy blue with, like, certain colors, like white and black and, like, blue, basically. Everything else, it clashes with, like, a lot. So, your girl picked up a black one. I'm probably gonna get a white one and hopefully a gray one because, you know, you need a variety these days. You need variety in your fashion. Not that I'm very fashionable, but we can pretend. My next favorite is a book that I'm sure you guys are probably going to get annoyed of me talking about. I've been pushing this book on Twitter like crazy since I've read it, which, like, actually I've been pushing the first book in the series, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about by now, but... I Got Radio by Sophia Elaine Hansen. This is the second book in the vinyl trilogy, the first book, obviously, vinyl. I was obsessed with last year. Read this one. I'm obsessed with this one now. It is so good. I love this series so dang much. It's a trilogy. I have to wait until 2018 for the third book, so like I'm not happy about it, but like this book was everything I wanted and more. I don't know what number favorite this is anymore. I've lost track. But it is this Tinkerbell bookmark. It actually belonged to my grandma. My mom pulled it out of this box that was in our basement, and she was like, hey, do you want it? Because Tinkerbell is one of my favorite Disney characters other than Simba, so I love it automatically. But it smells like my grandma's old house, so obviously I'm going to love it even more. Honestly, when my mom gave it to me, like, I was sitting there and just, like, sniffing it for a while, which is like, I'm not weird, okay? It was a good memory. My next favorite, I was so excited when my mom got it for me. I like, did a little jig, you know? Oh, but it is this Gaston Funko Pop. I love Beauty and the Beast. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. And Gaston was one of the only characters that I didn't have. The only other one now I don't have is the Beast. Everything else in the series or line I have. So, you know your girl was very excited and he's also just like adorable. I just... I love Gaston. Like, a lot of people have problems with him, but I think he's such an awesome character. I'm sorry, but I do. My next favorite is a movie that I saw with my boyfriend, and it is the Unforgettable movie. I think I would describe it as a thriller movie. Some people do it as, like, a horror film. I think it's more like psychological thriller. It follows a woman named Julia who recently got into a relationship with a man, and his ex, Tessa, basically tries to sabotage the whole relationship because she's insane and it is so good it has Katherine Heigl in it and Katherine Heigl is such an underrated actress in my opinion I loved this movie I was on the edge of my seat the whole time it is pretty predictable what's going to happen but throughout the whole thing like you can't stop watching like Tessa is insane and Katherine Heigl does such a good job playing the insane character I loved it like five out of five stars it was great. My next favorite is the 13 Reasons Why TV show. I know there's a lot of like controversy going around on it. But personally, I really enjoyed it. I don't struggle with any of the trigger warnings that go along with the show, so I didn't 
really have a problem with it. I understand that a lot of people would have a problem with it and how certain things were shown, but I loved it. I flew through it in two days. It was so addictive, so entertaining. I definitely recommend it, but if you have triggers for rape or suicide, things along those natures, definitely go into it a little bit cautious because it definitely pertains to a lot of that. But overall, great show. Loved it. And all my next favorites are all songs that I have been obsessed with listening to them on repeat. It's not John Bellion. I know. Surprise, surprise. But... but my first song is Noah Cyrus's Make You Cry, the acoustic version. I think that Miley Cyrus is such an underrated singer, and honestly, her sister Noah sounds like so much like her, so I think that she's also an underrated singer. I love this song. Okay, I'ma play you this song. think that her voice and Labyrinth's voice together they go so well and I just think it's such a beautiful song and I definitely like the acoustic version a lot more than the original studio version I just think that it sounds way prettier the next song that I have been loving this month is Say You Won't Let Go by James Arthur my friend sung it in a talent show for our university and that's where I first heard it it's played like crazy on the radio now but I am obsessed with it I just think it's such a pretty song and like honestly guys like just imagine your like significant others singing that about you like I die. Love his voice too. I just think it's so pretty to listen to. My next song that I've been loving so much to like jam out in the car is Play That Song by Train. It is so dang catchy. When you It is such a catchy song to like blast in your car and just like dance while you're driving like I love it so much! Then my final song that I have been obsessed with I've been obsessed with this man for so long now I just think he is such a baby angel unicorn and his name is Todrick Hall, he's a YouTuber. I'll leave his links down below, I'm sure you've heard of him, a lot of people have. But he wrote a musical called Straight Outta Oz and one of the songs in it is so good. It kind of sounds like a Disney song in my opinion, but it's called Colors. And here it is.
I just love him so much. He was also on RuPaul Drag Race as one of the judges, so you know your girl love him as well for that. And he also played Lola in Kinky Boots on Broadway, so one of my favorite musicals, so you know your girl is obsessed with him. Alright guys, so those were some of my favorites for April 2017. I know this was probably a super long video, but you know, sometimes you gotta talk about things other than books on this channel. So I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!